Alright, so as literally everyone knows at this point, The Hive just released quite possibly the most anticipated update in the past six months. It's called Replay Mode, and it's a way to go back and look at games that you've played in the past. You can view your Sky Wars, Survival Games, or Treasure Wars matches after you've played them, and use different controls to watch the game in different ways. Now I know that I'm pretty late to making a replay video, especially since I've had access to it for almost two weeks at this point, but I still want to take this video to give my thoughts and my takes on The Hive Replay Mode. I'll talk about how it works, how you can use it and more background information that you need to know, and I'll discuss the absolutely massive potential that Replay Mode has for the Hive community. Interested? Let's get started. Alright, so if for some reason you've been living under a rock and you don't know what replay mode is, like I said in the intro, it's basically a way that you can go back and watch past games. Specifically, it's for the PvP game modes on the Hive, which are Sky Wars, Treasure Wars, and Survival Games. Replay mode was part of an update that released on Friday, October 22nd, and if you've played a match in any of those PvP game modes in the past 30 days, you can go back and watch it, assuming you have the replay pass. The replay pass is another thing that was added along with that update, and it gives you access to replay mode for a year year at the cost of 830 mine coins, or about $5. Yes, I know some people are upset at the cost of it, and I'll talk about that later in the video. Still, once you have access to replay, you can do slash Q replay on the server, and it'll bring you to the replay hub. Once there, you've got two options, your replays or view by ID. They're pretty self-explanatory, I feel like. Your replays gives you access to all of your replays in the past 30 days, and view by ID lets you watch other people's replays that they can give you a code for. Let's say you want to watch one of your own replays though. You go into your replays, you select it, and it takes you in. Once in the replay, you've got a lot of options in your hotbar. Again, I feel like most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but in case you need an explanation, here's a quick rundown. The play button, or the pause button when a replay is playing, plays and pauses the replay. Again, not really rocket science. You can also rewind or fast forward a replay in 5 second intervals by using the double triangles. If you want to slow down everything that's happening in the replay, you can use the slow motion button, or speed everything up by using super speed. Something to note is that if you want to change the speed or lack of speed in these, you can go into your control settings and modify slow motion or super speed. While we're here, there's also no clip which lets you go through blocks. You can get some really cool shots this way that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get. Moving on, you can change the playback direction, which basically means that you can play the replay in reverse. There's probably some real practical uses for this, but I think the most fun thing to do with it is use it while playing a certain song. I seriously recommend everyone that has replay trying this at least once. Lastly though, there are also options to view the replay by frames. It's not actually frames per se, it's more ticks of the server, but if you want to get a frame perfect shot for a picture, this is the way to do it. The server runs at 20 ticks per second, so every frame that you go forwards or backwards by is 1 20th of a second or 50 milliseconds. Do with that information what you will. Either way, that's pretty much replay and how it works. Like I've said in the past though, replay has almost unlimited possibilities for what you can do with it though. I feel like one of the more obvious ones is that this is going to lead and to an extent has already led to some awesome montages. For example, Dicey's is hosting a $100 editing contest for Hive Replay, and people have already made some really, really cool content for it. However, Replay has only been out for a week at this point, and I expect the editing and content to get even better over time. Even still, montages are only a small portion of the content that we'll actually see from Replay. Another example of how it's being used is actually on my Twitch channel. Sometimes if I'm bored on stream, I'll just ask my chat to send me in replays that I can watch, laugh at, and talk about. Eventually, I want to be able to gather enough replays so that I could do an entire stream of just watching replays, and even sort of do coaching sessions where I watch the replay and talk about what I might have done differently. If I'm able to successfully do that, I might even turn that into YouTube content at some point. I know I plug my Twitch a lot, but if you want to have the chance to have your replay watched in a video someday, I recommend following my Twitch. Even still, that's not all of the things that I think can be done with the replay mode. Remember how I just mentioned coaching? I'll admit that I don't really keep up much with the Hive scrim community nowadays, but I think replay is going to be a massive help and a massive tool for them. You can literally go back and watch any aspect of anything that happened in a match, and that's going to be so helpful for teams that are playing the Hive competitively. Or honestly, just as a genuine player to go back and look at the games that you've played, see what mistakes you made, see what stuff you could do better, replay is going to be huge for self-reflection and analysis. Now, there's one more thing that I think there 
there is a possibility of it resulting from replay. Most of us probably know that the Hive staff have been using replay for some time now to catch cheaters. We've had the option to send replay codes and reports for a while now, and I'm sure it's led to many cheaters getting punished. Now, if you've ever played on or watched content on the Minecraft Java server Hypixel, you might know that they have something called Atlas. The premise of it is pretty simple. You're given a replay of a game with a suspected cheater in it, and your job is to decide whether that person is cheating or not. Once the replay is sent to multiple people, and everyone gives their decision, action is taken on that suspected player. Now, I could see the same thing possibly coming to the Hive, but there would have to be some requirements of some sort. Obviously, you can't just let any random player make a decision on whether someone's cheating or not. There would probably be some sort of level requirement, and maybe some sort of trust requirement as well. A lot of work, time, and thought would have to be put into the system to make sure that it's actually helpful and useful to the Hive, and I am by no means confirming that it's actually going to happen. All of this is just an idea that I'm speculating about. I think it would be really cool to see on the Hive though, and there's plenty of content opportunities that can result from it. Either way, all of the things that I just talked about are just scratching the surface on what's actually possible with replay mode. I know that there's so much more that people are going to be able to do with it, and it's only a matter of time before replay mode completely revolutionizes how Hive content is made. Moving on though, I do want to talk about a little bit of, I guess, controversy regarding replay mode. More specifically, I want to talk about the fact that people are mad that it costs $5. Look, I know everyone already calls me a simp for the Hive, and I expect everyone to call me it again for this, but I think $5 is an extremely fair price for access to replay mode for a year. Let's take a look at all that replay has to offer. Once you purchase the replay pass, you immediately get access to your past 7 days of replay. Yes, I know I said 30 days earlier, but let me explain. For every match of a PvP game mode that is played on the Hive, a replay of that is stored for 7 days. The Hive has hundreds of thousands of unique players that play on the server every day, and you can imagine that maybe half of those players are actually playing PvP game modes. That means tens or hundreds of thousands of unique games of PvP game modes are being played and then stored as replays every day, and all of the information that comes with those games. In all of the replays, everyone's skin is stored, the locations of players are being stored, blocks being placed, snowballs being thrown, all of that is stored as information. If you take into account that the Hive is storing all of that information for 7 days, and then 30 days for the thousands or tens of thousands of people that have bought the replay pass, you can kind of start to see where the cost for replay adds up. It costs a lot of money to store all of this information and then put it onto a server for players to view, and while I don't have actual numbers and costs to share with you guys, from talking to Hive staff, it seems like it's a lot. In my opinion, $5 is a perfectly acceptable cost for replay, especially since you get it for a year. I realize that the player base of the Hive is young and not everyone has money to spend, but another thing to realize is that replay is an add-on. It's not necessary to your experience playing on the server, it's just something cool that can be used to make content or help you watch your games after you played them. Feel free to disagree with me on the cost of replay if you want to, but this is just what I think. Sorry if I ended up getting into a little bit of a rant over it. Overall though, I think replay is a really, really, really good thing for the future of the Hive. It opens up so many content options for content creators, and it's just a really good tool for the quality of life of casual players. It's really nice to see the Hive starting to drop some of their really big updates that they've been promising, and if you want to learn more about the Hive's big Halloween update that happened recently, I recommend going and clicking the video that just showed up on screen. With all of that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.